Thank you, Cat. As what in the world? Hell. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing out there. But uh boss, you were just giving us update of the uh All Star game. What we have? So as of right now, our guy, the Texas Rangers, uh Idolis. Idolis Garcia right now. Um I think he led off the uh the top of the seventh inning. It's five to two. He looks like he got out. Uh, five to two American League over the National League. Hell yeah! In the top of the seven with two outs. So that's pretty much in a nutshell the All Star game. I think that the uh, the that last night's show of the uh, the home run derby was was more awesome than this what one. tonight's got going on. Um, I do want to bring up one 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 player though, and that'll be Shohei on time. Uh, okay. Otani, Steve A. Smith's favorite guy. Show it. <laughs> so, all right, we, we, we'll probably talk about that in a minute. But like, what Shohei Otani is doing right now in baseball uh, has me perplexed. It has me, it has me going nuts because the Angels seem to find the uh, the horseshoe up their asses every other off season. Why is that? I don't know what they're doing out there in LA, but the Dodgers are winning championships, and then the Angels are like. Going and going and you know going and getting these dudes that are like pretty much generational talent type dudes. Yeah, they can't um, do anything with it. Yeah, and that's the funny thing. I'm glad you brought that up because for one, all world Mike Trout is first of all he's a 400 million dollar man. Mm -hmm. 400 million dollars. That's like more than what presidents make in a lifetime. And then on top of that he gets injured or he's the kind of guy who would do you know pretty much MVP type things worldly things and then they really don't translate into anything Mike Trout has even won a playoff series it's crazy just knowing that because you got you mentioned Otani who is this generation's Babe Ruth because he's playing he's a pitcher and a hitter mm -hmm. and yet he's and he's excelling at both it's not like he sucks at one of them he's really good at both you got Mike Trout they have a it's the rest of their roster is just not good. They just can't do anything with it. So the Angels are kind of like, yeah, we'll be the, we'll have the marquee names. They'll bring t the the fans in because everybody wants to go see them. But they're not going to be winning championships. The Dodgers are doing this the exact same thing though. <laughs> they're spending money. They're buying it, but yet they're winning championships. Yep. Uh, and I think it's one thing. It's because it in baseball. I've always gone back to this. Pitching matters. Pitching does matter, and, and in fact, they have better pitching. That's all that matters. Uh, the Dodgers, right? Yeah, they do. They do. In fact, like right now, the uh, the Angels are forty four and forty five um, in the American League West, and they're nine games out of first place. Nine games. Basically, they're cell dwellers along with the Rangers, who are nineteen games out. But they're uh, the. I mean, the Angels uh, at, at forty four and forty five with that type of talent on the team. Not to mention they winning, uh, they they actually acquired Rendon from the World Series winning team, mm -hmm. uh, Washington, kind of before COVID. Yep. So they went and got him. They went and got the uh, the younger Upton kid. They went and got Otani. They, then they follow that up with you know they they have tr uh, Trout as well. And then they just let go Pujols. So once upon a time, all those dudes was on the same team at this you know on the team at the same time. And then if you look at it, <laughs> Rangers aside, they are cell dwellers in the American League in the American League West. Yeah, I, I do find it funny. I'm, I mean, as a Rangers fan, I find it funny because at least they suck. They have all mm -hmm. this world talent and they suck. My hope is that Mike Trout somehow gets displeased with the Angels for not doing anything. Maybe Otani gets displeased, and somehow the Rangers. He, they come on, you know, come on down to Dallas, come down to Arlington. We got air conditioning now. <laughs> no, it's not gonna happen. No. Well, then I, you, know, you we do have some cheap ass owners. We do. That's Very the cheap. Problem. By the way, please sell the team. I'm done with y'all. We, we got the uh, home run derby right here on the uh, uh, right above us. Oh, uh, wow. okay. So the home run derby is being shown right now over us as we uh, continue okay. to talk baseball here right on uh, BFB. So who's batting right now? I can't really see it. Uh, Mancini. Okay, so we got Mancini. Last night was a show. Uh, again, Shohei Otani put on his own show. Even though he didn't win it, uh, shout out to Pete Alonzo for winning the whole thing. Sorry to spoil it at home if you didn't see it last night. It was amazing. 
But do y'all agree better than the slam dunk contest? As of right now, yes. This year's slam dunk contest overall. I would say it. I would say because of because of the whole COVID situation shutting down the world a year ago. Now we get to see, you know, first of all, the baseball the baseball situation. And then just a few days ago, if you haven't heard in the news, um, there was like four or four, five dudes about um that they got arrested for weapons in a hotel room. I allowed the whole Vegas thing in two thousand. Oh yeah, they were supposed to, yeah, about the about, yeah, they found him uh I don't know how I forgot how they got caught, but they ended up finding the guns and so stuff like they were playing to shoot up the All Star game or something like that. So we don't know the motive yet, but and of course it was in Denver. Shout out to the maid yeah. for walking to her room going housekeeping. Let me see what you got going on in here. Oh you like 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 uh Will Smith said in Bad Boys. Housekeeping. I see what the problem is. Y'all a bunch of nasty motherfuckers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? Uh, and so she saw like guns on the floor or whatever. So she alerted authorities, cool. And then authorities come through, they you know, they they pop four dudes, maybe spoiling, you know, uh some kind of stupid. At first ass when I read it, I was like, I feel like this is the part they wanted to get called. This is a setup for for the other guys to come in and get the job done. Which is scary altogether. Yeah, which was scary to me. And I was like, this Well, regardless, well now that you once it happens, the security gets tripled. Which I'm pretty hiding. So. Which I'm pretty sure around Coors Field, as you know, as we speak, uh I think security's on high alert. Which Very is awesome much. because you have the game's greatest players right now on the field playing. Oh yeah. So yeah, keep those guys it's protected. Same, it's the same level almost of like like a Super Bowl level security. Okay. Trust me, Super Bowl gets like the top notch security level. Uh Josh, let's uh pivot to Arlington. Let's go to Arlington. Life mm -hmm. Field, the Gilf, as they call it over there at my station. Who calls 13. it the Gilf? We we call it the Gilf over there at thirteen ten the ticket. That's uh it. we we call it the Gilf. Mm -hmm. Um no surprise who named there. That? Who's the who Tell me who's, so the, we say who's the, the mastermind behind that I shit. don't know the mastermind. Is what we put on the ticket ticket. Tell him to get at me at, at, at your watch 10. Anyway, and tell me at Globe Life Life Field. Uh, Any guilt for grandmas? I'd like to. Yeah. How do you know? How do you know? For a new anyway, building. For a new um, building. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Some white boy shit. But back to you. The Rangers. <laughs> Rangers have drafted. Sorry, Kat. The Rangers drafted. Mr. Uh, what is that? Lighter. John, uh, Le Lighter? So Al Lighter. Al Lighter is dad. Mm-hmm. Um, and son is Junior Lighter, mm -hmm. but it's not and, it's not Al Lighter Junior. Uh, and he is he name. is now he is now a Texas Ranger, one of the best pitchers in college baseball. Jack, Jack, Jack Lighter, Jack Lighter, and mm -hmm. he comes in now. I'm not a big college baseball guy, so I really don't know much about him. But I've been told, researching into him, he is the one of the best and the top uh, uh, prospect right now in terms of being a pitcher. And the Rangers got him, and they're all excited about it. My question to you is. Is this a good thing for the Rangers? Are we going in the right direction? Because I want to know, are we two to three years away back? Or are we still maybe another decade away from getting back into contention? Rangers fan, uh, just go ahead and put that bean in the earth and keep watering it and keep getting a lot of sun because it's going to be a process. Oh, uh, oak trees don't Stick grow overnight. Um, so basically, at, at, the number, at the number two position, the Angels, excuse me, the Rangers. Your Rangers select uh, Jack Leiter mm -hmm. from Vanderbilt, and with, I mean, with an ERA pretty much of just like at two for his whole career. Wow. Um, this this dude this dude is pretty amazing when it comes to a collegiate pitcher throwing a lot of pitches. That's the only thing that scares me with him, because watching him in the, in, the, uh, in the World Series mm -hmm. in the College World Series, he threw a lot of pitches, and I I was rooting. For Vanderbilt to get bounced, so he didn't have to go through all. So that. he had to pitch a lot, right? Right. Because you you, you kind of want to like keep you you know your, your guys' uh, arms um, pretty much live. It, it also takes me back to um, Steven Strasburg for the Nationals mm -hmm. when they went and got him, or even Kerry Wood when the Cubs drafted him from Grand Prairie. It's almost like well we got the young protege. And then now we got to protect him. Now we got to keep ice on him. Right, because I remember Strasburg. Good God, how many times did we see him? Oh, he got to shut him down, shut him down, shut him down. Right. We didn't see what the hell he could do for the longest time. And we kept saying he's one of the best prospects that we've had, but we never saw it. That could be a thing, but from your eyes, watching him go through the College World Series, is this a good pickup for the, uh, for the Texas Rangers? It is, and it's an automatic. It's one of those picks where you're like, okay, well... I'm Portland, I'm picking number two, and then the number one team selects Kevin Durant. I should go ahead and pick 
Greg Oden. I might as well. I should pick Greg Oden. And it's like, well, damn, I'm already handcuffed. Mm -hmm. The Rangers made a good pick with this dude. He was the pretty much the number two or an even number one pitcher. Kumar Rocker was the other player on the Vanderbilt uh, pitching uh, pitching staff, and Kumar Rocker was just as good. But he went like number ten or eleven. So they didn't. They couldn't fuck up with this. They they really they didn't. They, they didn't. didn't. It was either him, Rocker, or a whole bunch of high school shortstops. Even though you can't go wrong with that too. But like I, I, I'm I'm looking at it, and I'm like, you know what? DFW only knew Rocker. They only knew Lighter. And they only knew courtesy of Jerry Sandler. We appreciate it. They only knew of the high school shortstops. Yeah. So it was like, uh, who do we get? And then Rangers Brass did a great job of going to get the lighter kid. So now with lighter, how long is it? Is are we gonna have to wait like a prolonged way for him to get to the majors, or do we have to? Is he gonna quickly ascend up into the uh, starting position? There's no ascension yet, and I hope that Chris Young, the new Rangers GM, and John Daniels look at it, and they look at it not in a vacuum. But they look at it as a grand scheme, as a, as a big picture, and they say, hey, hold on, hold on. We're not ready yet. Because this team is not ready to, to blossom yet. We're uh, Again, we're just playing that seed into the ground. And so with lighter, now you have a baby. So now you want to make sure that baby is okay until it gets to three and four. Mm -hmm. Then you want to put a ball in his hand. Where does allow, he allow this dude to progress naturally. Don't does, rush him. Where does he go immediately? Does he go high A or does he go straight to like double A or what's – What's his progression? I would I would send him to straight A ball. Uh huh. I wouldn't go double A or triple A just yet. Let this dude just throw and dominate on a lower level. Okay. Uh, for two years, you know, treat him like in the NFL. What you do, um, a real good quarterback, but you already have a quarterback. So right. treat him like a rookie quarterback that's coming in and learning from the veteran. You sit his ass down, man. All right, so now moving on. No Tommy John, no now, nothing. Now we get to the uh, for the rest of the Rangers roster. There's talks about Joey Gallo. Now I love Joey Gallo. Yeah, what happened yesterday, man? I was disappointed, man. He was. It was very disappointing seeing him do what he did. Again, I'm not going to fault him. He's still a great hitter. Um, now it does. Now there's talks about the Rangers. I'm, they're they're talking to his representation. It doesn't seem like he kind of wants to be here. Do you go and go ahead and just? Flip the trigger on him and try to trade him, or do you keep him? Before you go, that last ball should have counted. In the home run derby? Yes, it should have counted. Uh, let's just be honest. That should count it. Um, eh. It's the home run derby. It's you, exhibition. You, was it Tony Busey's fault? I, I mean, the home run. Okay, so the home run derby has a lot to do with the, the dude that's throwing the balls to you. Right. Like, it has nothing to do with the hitter. Like, the so hitter is ball? just automatic. But it has a lot to do with that dude that's throwing you the balls. If you look at some of the dudes that, that's hitting, like I, I saw Juan Soto telling his guy to go over here some, over here some. You know, put that bitch out for me. Put it out there for me mm -hmm. so I can turn on it. Or if, if I want to go dead center or even opposite field, I'm a, I'm a lefty. So if I want to pull it, go dead center, go opposite field, then it's like, well, hey, pitch, you know, you, you know where to put it. You know where to put it. But, yeah, I mean, Gallo – Really didn't give us a real show. The ball should have counted, but I'm like, ah, I'm not really here to see you, Joey Gallo. That's even true. though we like you like that, you know. But I read to see Shohei. I read to see Pete Alonso. I read to see Trevor Story. But yeah. So now, now, in terms of Gallo, do you think he wants to stay here? And if you're Chris Young in the Rangers, do you pull the, uh, pull the trigger and trade him now? Is it smart to trade him now? Because I'm thinking. Here's my way I look at it. I do want to build a content a contender. Gallo would be nice to have on this roster going forward to the future, but maybe we can flip him. Maybe we can go get kind of maybe not on the same level, but it's the same way that the share trade helped the, the, the Rangers get back. I'm now, you're not going to get into share trade. I know you're not going to get the same thing, <laughs> but I'm glad you brought that up. Well, um, is any of DFW media watching right now? Do you know? Uh, no, but they probably will be. Okay. After uh, once it's put up, I'm about to drop it down real quick. Uh, yeah, you ain't got to tag him in or nothing like that. But no, uh, probably, tomorrow when we wake up, when you wake up, it'll be. I'll yeah, have it up on the right. So attention, DFW media that are proclaiming y'all like baseball. Um, Shots Y'all might want to use this on y'all show. Uh oh. Uh, uh -oh. I, as far as the Gallo, that thing, goes for the ticket too. As far as the Gallo thing. Okay. All right. He's the only. He's pretty much the only face that the Rangers have outside of uh, Adolis. Adolis, yeah. Adolis. Right now, yeah. 
We've been trying to trade people in pieces here in DFW for a long ass time. Go get this. Go get that. Go get this. Every sport. Maybe move him for this. And maybe move. All right. With Gallo, I haven't. I'm yet to hear. Well, what does he want? Because we're always talking about move Gallo because he can't hit for average. He can't hit for this. He can't hit for that. And then he told the media. He told all y'all. He goes, well. I'm talking about you, yeah. You know, well, I have mental issues, right? Yeah. I'm mentally soft when it comes to the game. But I'm at least listening to you guys. And so, therefore, I'm willing to walk and try to slap the ball the other way. And it's working for me this year, especially, you know, the first part of the season. Now, in my last 19 games, I just hit 13 bombs. And so, everybody's on my nutsack in DFW. And now y'all want to trade me because I'm Joey Gallo. And I can hit the ball 400 and, uh, 445 feet. Um, find out what that dude wants. Find out what he wants first. Then go ask Garcia, hey, can you give me two more years of this? What you're doing right now? Because with you and him, and then IKF at short or whatever, and then Willie, can we perhaps build on this? We just got a picture in the draft. Maybe I can go talk to ownership real quick and have them open the wallet. Oh, that's not going to happen. Because <laughs> if we can present to them that 30,000 people show up on a Tuesday night, which is awesome, Rangers fans. If they show up on a Tuesday night to welcome in Elvis Andres and the Oakland A's coming in, maybe we can cook something up and then go maybe acquire one more person or maybe two more people that can hit the ball, even at the infield or whatever situation may be. Well, name somebody, Tobosh. No, I won't. Because that's where money talks. And that's your GM's job to go do. That's JD's job to go do. That's Simpson and Davis' job to go do. It's not my job to go say, hey, you know what? It should be. I'd rather go say, uh, let's go um, find a, a, a Kimbrel as a, you know, as yeah, a closer. Yeah. Or, and, and then get rid of my, my Kennedy, who is an older closer, but he, and stuff like that. Here's my only question, and so this is why I'm looking forward with this, is that, okay, the only way this team gets better is if you start to get rebuild your farm system and get back in it. You need to just stockpile talent. That's how the Astros did it. I mean, I know aside from them cheating in the World Series, aside from that, they still got talented. Okay? Aside from them, uh, and aside from the Astros cheating, they wouldn't be champions. Okay, but they're also one of the most talented teams in baseball still. All right, bet. bet. That, that's that's fine. That's, yeah. And I just want to get And then they're I leading the American League West. Yeah. Right now they right. are because they're still talented. Right. What they, why they, how they get so talented? They suck for 10 years. You know what, though? He wants okay. the Rangers to suck for 10 years? If well, I'm going to well, well, get years. back, I just want to get back to winning baseball. I want to get back to Rangers winning, going to division titles and in the playoffs. No, no. If we, if, we're if, tanking right now. Yeah, I thought we That's were That's what we're tank. doing right we now. We are, but we are. But, I, but I, you I, can cut that in can, half. And, and Bassick said it. You know, Bassick is like, well, in two to three years, two to three years, two to three years. I don't know if it can be in two to three years. There's a way. There's a way to cut through that shit. And not turn into Dallas Mavericks basketball over the last ten years. Shots um, right, Mavericks. But like, there's a way to cut through, you know, to cut through, the, you know, the middleman, and then get back to competing. If you can go, hey, you know what? We're tired of the bullshit. Open your wallet, sir. That's not gonna happen though. But I, it should. Okay, yes. But you have these very penny pension wallet uh, uh, guys up there in the suites who just sit there. Their wallets are completely closed. They don't want to spend anything. They and they've been. And I heard uh, the great Norm was talking about it on the third. Norm um, Hiskis, what's going on, guys? He mentioned it because if it sorry, wasn't for sorry, no, we love you. If it wasn't, by the way, you returned to the studio. Yeah, that's welcome my wallet. back. Yeah. Uh, basically. Um, if it wasn't for COVID, I think this, the the owners would have sold the team, he says. Which I kind of agree with. And, oh, okay. So, that was my point. All right. That's where you're trying if to If you to. don't want to open your wallet, go ahead and get money in your wallet and then move your face. Remove your face from away from this baseball team. We, all right. Uh, and I apologize to all the Christians and Dr. Peppers and everybody in the world like that. But what? <laughs> you got some Christians that's running this team. That's like, don't want to have a faces seen. Randy Galloway went at them. That didn't work. Uh, Dr. Pepper guys running this organization. That does, that doesn't work. You know, like, ask no So you one. need to shake up in the front office. Bro, we need, at, we need the top, Carlisle, at the, the top. Rick Carlisle. No, no, we need, the owner, you need some Cubans need to move. You need Cuban uh, and Jerry Jones to move baseball-wise. So, wait. I have an idea. He came to the Rangers rescue once, but he got 
out pennied a little bit at the end. Bring him. Mark Cuban as the to come by Bruh. the Dallas Mavericks. And, and, and he'll uh, hey, you mean Texas Rangers? Yeah, I'm sorry, yeah, the Texas, uh, the Rangers. Texas Rangers. Yeah, and well, he, he having a hard time with the Dallas Mavericks, so he so might not need to do that. No, maybe hey, leave the Mavericks alone. I don't know. I'll <laughs> see him third I'll see him Thursday personally. You know what? <laughs> That's a good damn question for him, sir. No bullshit. If you got a question for Mark Cuban. Yeah, I ain't, I'm not. No, a, listen to this. I got a Jake question. I'm, I'm standing on the air right now. If you got a question, if you got two questions from Mark Cuban, ask your little Jake Kid question. Hey, tell tell us about 2003 and 2005 <laughs> and not, 2007. Not, I'm not going there. Your next question, hey Mark, and I'll I'll ask it for you right now, right here on Dallas on Air. Well, go ahead. We I mean we can we can chat. Hey, hey Mark, um, any uh interest in perhaps throwing your hat back into? Uh, the bid for another team here in DFW, not named the Dallas Cowboys, Stars of Wings. And then just hear what he has to say. Uh, because Major League Baseball needs to shake up when it comes to to um, to you. He's probably going to say no. Yeah, he's gonna, that's not what we're here for today. Oh. We're here to talk about J.K. and Nico Harris. And this is not doing a bit. But I, I would love for a Nico Harris type person to take over uh, the Rangers front office. Yeah. Chris Young is cool. Here's a great baseball mind. JD sliding up a little bit. Great baseball mind. But JD ain't got the money. Chris Young ain't got the money. Those two dudes with the gray hair, with the, you know, the, the Bible thumping Dr. Pepper drinker dudes, they got the money, y'all. And I'm trying to get y'all to understand this part. Like, the Rangers ain't going to be good unless these dudes either dack it up and roll it up, a.k.a. get lucky. Right? Right. Or they sell, man. That's the only way. I'm just looking for sale. A, I just want to know what billionaire is willing that we would like that is willing to come out here. Chuck Greenberg, maybe he can come back. Chuck Greenberg got blackballed. Sorry, cat. Chuck Chuck Greenberg got blackballed. Nolan got blackballed. Um, well, they didn't have the money. The, 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 here's the funny thing: the the, the whole Nolan Ryan Express uh, Greenberg Express thing. It's really the same owners. They've never left. They're the ones behind it. Billionaire East and West, Mr. Simpson and Mr. Davis. They've been behind it since day one. They just don't like being the the face of it. They like to be in the shadows, mm -hmm. like Mr. Oh, listen, Shadow listen. GM guy. Fuck, like like fuck that uh, high behind the curtain. This ain't home improvement. And then these <laughs> these dudes ain't Wilson. <laughs> Like, I'm sorry, y'all. You got to show your face, bro. Like, I I'm serious. I'm very passionate about this shit because I just went to a game. Uh, I, just, I just went to a game, bro, the other day, and I saw the passion in these Rangers fans' face, man. I'm looking at this team play, and I'm like, man, these dudes need an ownership that can support them, man. Like, we're 11 years removed from the Rangers' glory days. It seemed like it was yesterday, and we keep living off that shit. Y'all talk, talk about the Mavericks and how, oh, oh, 10 years ago, uh, the rain, uh, the Mavericks celebrated this and that, and we got Rick out of here, right? We got Dunny out of here, right? Keep that same intensity for uh, for Bob and Ray, man. Thank like, you. bro, I'm tripping because like you got a new building, you know. Stars aside, you got a new building, bro, in Arlington that we pay good money for. I, I'm an Arlington resident. I live in Mansfield, but it's an Arlington <laughs> resident. Same thing. Um, and so like people are coming to the games because of the building. They come to the games because of Gallo. Because of Garcia, like, lit a fire under their asses. Then you got lighter. You're getting younger. Come on, man. I, I, I'm dead ass serious, bro. And I'm sorry about the passion, bro. But oh, please. Like, like, baseball is important in DFW. You know, y'all always say, oh, well, you know, uh, oh, oh, it's football, Cowboys, yada, yada, yada. But, like, man, listen. Imagine stars, young Cowboys, young Rangers, and young Mavericks doing some shit in the whole in the whole sports world. Title time. Come on, man. What, what are we doing? We had that at one point. They went to the those World ten, Series. Went to the World Series. The Mavericks went to the finals. We were on a good. We were on a good. Cowboys are doing this. Cowboys didn't do anything. We were on a good running. <laughs> sorry, game. sorry for the energy, bro. Oh no, no. Hey, it's, 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 it's welcome, man. Um, I guess we got to bid you uh, farewell. Yeah, yeah. Well, got to go over there. Yeah. To the, uh, she, I, I got to get that money for that vacation. <laughs> yeah, she outside. I just saw her. Ooh. That old lady with the with the wallet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is that what we're calling that building? Hey, the old lady with the wallet. <laughs> <Miss Alice. laughs> I mean, they're, apparently they're calling uh, Globe Life Gill. So I guess hey, what's going on. Over I here. like it. Mm. Uh, let's take a break. We're coming. I've been wanting to get on this topic. I haven't done done it yet. 
Uh, we we were out last week, but I definitely want to talk. I just wanted to talk about what's going on at ESPN, but I definitely want to talk about the Maria Taylor uh, Rachel Nichols deal. I have a interesting take on that situation. 